The best technology and the best method of palletizing is one that takes advantage of the plant constraints at the least amount of cost and utilizes the least amount of valuable floor space. For any set of plant conditions, the answer can be different. Factors that influence this decision include production throughput, available space, the package type and speed, frequency of product changeovers, the pattern complexity, load building requirements, the accessories required, the number of products and patterns, maintenance requirements and resources, interface requirements with upstream and downstream equipment, the total cost of ownership, which includes the initial purchase price, freight, installation, maintenance, spare parts, the cost of operation, and training. Robotic palletizing systems can vary greatly in complexity. Systems range from as simple as a single line with a manually placed pallet to very complex, such as a system that includes four packaging lines, feeding a single palletizer and stacking product onto four different pallet load building stations simultaneously. Depending on the type of the end effector purchased, the robot may be able to handle package types such as bags, cases, bundles, and trays simultaneously. A robotic work cell is the complete set of equipment that has been integrated for a specific task such as palletizing. The flexibility of a robotic palletizing system allows for endless layout possibilities and can include many pieces of peripheral equipment such as conveyors, pallet and sheet dispensers, reject stations, labelers, check wares, stretch wrappers, and a variety of other application specific equipment. It is important to consider the configuration of all of these items and how each individual piece may affect the overall cycle time when developing a robotic palletizing system. Articulated robots are the most versatile robots in the production environment. They are faster and have a variety of end effectors to pick up various product types. The articulated robot can handle a wide range of products with typical palletizing payloads up to 160 kg. Articulated robots are capable of palletizing up to four lines at a time. Columbia Okura's industrial articulated robots are built specifically for a singular purpose, palletizing. Products are presented to the robot via the infeed station conveyors. Depending on the pallet patterns and how the products are being conveyed, products can be staged for single picking or multi-picking, or may need to be oriented for pickup to optimize the robot movements in order to meet the expected palletizing rates. This is achieved by utilizing mechanical turning devices or soft turning via variable speed split conveyors. A pallet dispenser takes a stack of pallets and separates one pallet out to convey into the palletizer. There are many different types of pallet dispensers in order to handle the various styles of pallets. The three main types of pallet dispensers are stripper style with a pallet hopper, lift and separate with a pallet hopper, and staging pallet dispenser with pallets placed on a CDLR conveyor. Slip sheets, deck sheets, tie sheets, and cap sheets are frequently used for a variety of reasons. Some of the reasons include protection from moisture, adding load stability, or protecting the load from environmental elements. Sheets are made from many different materials including corrugate, liner board, fiber board, or plastic. Robotic palletizers incorporate the use of slip or tie sheets using one of the following two methods. A sheet dispenser incorporates an independent machine that picks up sheets and places them on the pallet or within the load between the layers. This method does not reduce the speed capacity of the robotic palletizing system. A sheet pickup tool uses end effector mounted vacuum cups so the robot can pick up and place sheets on the pallet or within the load. The infinite variety of end effectors is what makes the robot such a versatile solution for palletizing. End effectors can be designed to handle multiple product types with a common tool. Robotic systems designed for case palletizing can be transformed into a bag, pail, plastic tote, bundle, or other package palletizing system. This versatility gives the robotic palletizer a strong advantage over a conventional palletizer. A robotic system becomes a flexible investment capable of handling today's packages and is capable of meeting future needs as well. In palletizing systems, handling of the palletized load is as important as that of the product being palletized. In the simplest systems, the palletizer delivers the completed load onto a single discharge conveyor, where a lift truck retrieves the load and delivers it to subsequent processing, storage, or transportation areas. Often a facility has multiple palletizers in close proximity to each other. It is sometimes desired to combine the completed loads onto a single conveyor system for delivery to a common retrieval location. 
In addition, it is sometimes necessary to double stack, stretch wrap, or label the completed loads, and a combined conveyor system minimizes the investment in these devices. There are two primary types of conveyor used to transport palletized loads. Chain conveyors are used to transport pallets with the bottom boards perpendicular to the direction of travel. Roller conveyors are used to transport pallets with the runners parallel to the direction of travel. Combination transfer conveyors incorporate a live roller conveyor and a chain conveyor to combine the flow of multiple lines or divide a common flow into several perpendicular lines. With nearly 25 years of experience, Columbia Okura has been a leading provider of robotic palletizing systems by delivering custom engineered solutions to meet demanding customer requirements. Whether it's a simple stack on floor palletizer cell or a more complex multi-line system, Columbia Okura has the resources and the expertise to design, build, integrate, factory test, and deliver the right robotic palletizing solution for the application.